You may in the past have got into conversations down the pub or at work with that guy, and it normally is a guy who knows everything about cars, and he'll tell you why the engines in this particular make of car last forever and are absolutely brilliant and reliable, but you wouldn't touch the engines from this other manufacturer of car because, I don't know, the valves wear out or whatever. We all know these kind of experts. Now, I don't know if those kinds of conversations are yet going on amongst EV owners about the motors, you know, comparing the merits or otherwise of Tesla motors or VW Group motors or whatever. But anyway, um, it certainly is worth looking into this. Anyway, welcome to Kitty Nero Diaries. Welcome especially to new subscribers. And I guess that quite a lot of you from the comments that I get um, are e Nero owners or perhaps you've moved on to Nero EVs or have one of the new uh, uh, Kia EV3s or perhaps a, a Kona. Now, all of those cars used the same 150 kilowatt uh, AC motor. It's a permanent magnet synchronous motor. Um, mine's been pretty reliable. It, it's well, it's been perfectly reliable. It's coming up to its 120,000 kilometers service, the car, next week. And they're going to change the uh, reduction gear oil for the first time. But I've done a bit of digging around and I've found that um, there's been quite a lot of failures of these motors. Um, and uh, I'm going to share with you uh, a video uh, which you may find interesting and it's from a company over in Croatia in Zagreb called EV Clinic and they're quite impressive what they do. They, uh, you know, they'll tear down a complete uh, motor assembly and uh, repair down to the component level. So anyway, uh, I've edited this um, and I will make comments uh, on it as we go along and, and I will provide the links if you want to watch the whole thing. So here we go. Hi, and girls. Uh, today we have a Kia e Niro with uh, motor defect. And this is for the first time that we are doing this one and we will try to measure all the bulb bearings, uh, all the parts which we need for the next project. We will assemble it into EBC Academy training. And this car has something around 170,000 kilometers. And this is uh, 2020 here. And it's not under warranty because the warranty is still 160,000 kilometers. I will show you now on the test drive how it sounds and uh, so you can act on time and prevent any further damage on the drive in it. That's the car then, a familiar colour. Um, so it's done 170,000 kilometres and what you may have noticed is that written on the side of the car was a company um, um, website uh, name and it's .sl and that's Slovenia. So you think, well, what are these guys in Croatia doing maintaining a car from Slovenia? But in fact, um, uh, it's quite uh, understandable because uh, Ljubljana uh, is only, you know, 100, 110 kilometers away from Zagreb. And so I guess if you've got um, some real EV uh, repair experts in the country next door, you go and uh, see what they can do if they can help you. Um, so he makes the point that it's out of uh, warranty because it's done over 160,000 kilometers. Um, and then he's talking about what they call the milling noise. Now, I'll just let you hear this and see what you think. So just go back to the video now. So that's what they refer to as the milling sound. And uh, it reminds me of when we were kids and we used to attach a little piece of cardboard to the frame of the bike uh, with a peg or something and then make it flap against the spokes. There's clearly something amiss there. But uh, is it the motor or um, is it the reduction gearbox or something else going on? So, you know, we could go on to the next stage, um, see what they do uh, with another test uh, after they've got the motor out. I, I've skipped forward a bit. Uh, where they disconnect all the uh, pipes and, you know, you know, the air conditioning um, and other pumps and um, K 
cables to drop the motor out, which in itself is quite interesting if you want to look at the whole video. Anyway, let's move on to the next bit. So drive unit is out. A lot of unnecessary cables, wirings, uh, coolant hoses. It's not, not even similar to Tesla drive unit, which is much easier to take it out. You can see the discharge brushes on the rotor shaft. Yeah, there are some noises. There was that milling sound again when they spun the motor up with the uh, with the special drill they had. Um, now it's interesting in the next bit where they go on to uh, strip down the reduction gear and I'm not an engineer so certainly not a mechanical engineer so I don't know if they found faults with the actual uh, you know wear on the cogs of the um, reduction gear or if it's just a ball race they that there, there is a little bit in the video where it looks like they're setting a new ball race into uh, one of the components, uh, which is pretty impressive. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll let you carry on to watch it uh, to the end, and uh, they make some interesting statements about the uh, Mobis motors that are used by uh, Hyundai Motor Group on their electric cars. Here we go. <laughs> It's completely black. It's all an out transmission. Oh, it was probably never changed. As usual. And we found a favorite ball bearing. It's this one. Everything is clean, prepared, shiny. Gearbox is fully refurbished. Uh, now we are preparing to close it, to glue it back and assemble it back to the drive unit. I want to make the video of the part number. Everything is connected. I found it really interesting to see what the inside of the um, e Nero drive unit looks like. Um, so they've reinstalled the motor and they're taking it out for a test drive to see if that uh, milling noise has gone away. And then they give their verdict on um, on uh, Hyundai Kia Motors. Um, and I'll have a little chat about that at the end and uh, you know ask you what you think and I'm really interested to get your comments at the end so just back to the final bit of their video there say so they're called EV clinic they're in Slovenia they've done lots of videos on uh, work they do with electric cars and I'll put say I'll put the link uh, uh, down below No sound of any kind. This is the first and successful uh, finished uh, drive unit from Kia e Niro, and uh, we'll make a few more tests, road tests, and deliver the car. 
So that's quite a damning statement then uh, from these guys, and they're clearly very skilled engineers, they know what they're doing, that uh, all uh, Hyundai and Kia motors are badly designed. But uh, let's um, dig a little bit deeper there. Uh, on the one hand, they say this is the first time they've um, done a complete refurbishment on on a motor, on a, a Kia e Nero. So, you know, how how common is it really? Now, I've um, also found an, uh, a few other channels, um, one in the UK called Owens Auto Tips, and he goes through um, a failure of uh, the same motor on the on the Kona, and um, you know he 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 takes the motor out. You you can see all the tear down and the rebuild, but he doesn't die, uh, do what these guys do, which is you know split it split it all apart. So you you know you got the inverter on the top of the motor, and then you've got the um, the uh, the reduction gearbox on the side, and taking all that off and stripping that down. The, he, you know he he doesn't do that, um, but these guys really seem very very good, and so you've got to hand it to them um, in terms of uh, you know when they say something, then yeah you've got to take notice. Obviously, the key question uh, for uh, for me and for anyone else who's got a e Nero or uh, the other cars that have this uh, Mobis 150 kilowatt motor, apparently the problem doesn't occur with the old Ionic 28 kilowatt hour uh, battery. Um, that's a different motor, and uh, the general consensus is that it's uh, well designed, and they, this milling sound problem doesn't occur. Um, but I've been looking around and uh, found some other um, channels. There's one really impressive. I mean, you, you've got to hand it to these guys. Uh, they're in the Ukraine. Uh, they're called Master Service Electro. They say they are the first specialist hybrid and EV service business in Ukraine. They're in Kyiv and in Kharkiv. So I guess they're sort of under fire, these these guys and they uh, posted a couple of videos on a channel called car repairs it's just car repairs video but it's not easy to find I um, I, I had to google something uh, google something else to find it and uh, again they're finding the same problem um, with uh, a soul and an e-nero um, and um, I mean, the, the Soul had only done 75,000 kilometers and it had this milling sound. And again, they uh, diagnosed it down to the reduction gearbox, which they repaired. I mean, these people are just brilliant engineers um, and, uh, you know, they're working under duress. Um, and I also looked at comments that, uh, you know, people have made on some of these videos. And, you know, from all over the world, there's a guy in Australia uh, who's said he had to have his motor replaced twice because they just swapped out the whole thing. It's all under warranty, but it had the milling sound and uh, swapped the whole motor unit out, and then it, it died again. You know, the you know the second unit uh, also had the the milling sound, and you know if if the dealer had known how to fix it properly, they would have just taken the motor unit out and replaced the reduction gear, not the entire motor, because nothing wrong with the motor. Um, but there's, yeah, there's quite a lot of people who, you know, have had it done in, in the first two or three years of uh, ownership. They've had this problem and they had to have the motor replaced. Um, and, you know, quite a few who get to the sort of kilometers that I'm on or a bit higher uh, and they're getting this done. And of course, the worry is if it starts to happen outside of warranty. And I mean, 10 months time, mine's out of warranty. So anyway, um, hope you found that interesting. I'm going to give some links below um, and uh, hopefully, you know, you won't be lying awake at night worrying that, <laughs> that your e Nero motor is about to fail. But there we go. We have to share all these things. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.